As you know, I'm Titan the Genius, and today we are actually going to start building the neural network that we are going to be using for this data analysis. So before I write the code, I've just written out this so that you understand the neural network we are building. So roughly, this is the neural network we are going to build. Before I continue, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. So this reminder I give every time so that you motivate me to keep making this lesson. So hit the subscribe button below. And if you have challenges, please let me know and I'll respond to you. And also, if you subscribe, you don't miss out anything. So just subscribe and also um, like the video if it's OK. All right. So now we have we are going to have three layers. One, the input layer, the hidden layer and the output layer. The hidden layer is going to be a flattened layer. So what does it mean that it is a flattened layer? The, hidden, the input layer is flattened into 784 nodes. So I've tried to explain what flatten means here. Flatten simply means convert a two-dimensional array of 28 by 28, this is a two-dimensional array, into one-dimensional array of 784. So we are flattening it, or like we are splitting it into something like this. We are taking this, sorry, not, not this way. Okay, maybe it could also be so we are taking something like this and stacking it on top of each other like this and like this. And then we have just one dimensional array. So we pull out this, we pull out the second one, pull out this and stack them on top, on top themselves. And then that is what we call flatten. If we do that, we are going to get this number 28 by 28 which gives us 784 input nodes. Take note of that. So this is what the input is going to be, the hidden layer is going to be 28. Uh, it will be 128 in number. So this is also going to be a dense, this is not going to be a flattened layer, but a dense layer. And it's going to, we are going to be using the function dense to create it. The 128 uh, nodes in the hidden layer uh, will be activated using the the, the ReLU function. So ReLU is an activation function as well. Then we have the output layer. The output layer now is 10. It's only 10, 0 to 9. So each each of them, for any input, we are going to activate one of these outputs, which are, which it should actually be 0 to 10, 0 to 9 for, for whatever it represents. So if we feed in one image of 28 by 28 image, flattens, passing through the hidden layer, it's going to spit out only one single output which is zero, 0 to 9, which represents the class that this image belongs. All right, so let's build this network. Actually, the code is actually not too difficult to follow. So let's build it. I hope you understand my explanation. So let's call it um, model. And we are going to be using Keras so to build this model. And the function in Keras is called sequential. All right, so at this point, we now need to specify inside square brackets the layers of our network. For, for clarity, I'm going to just make a space. So I'm going to create this one, layer one, layer two, and layer three. So the first one is, I'm going to use keras dot layers. And now I'm just going to put a comma here and repeat the same thing. All right, so we are setting up three layers. So now the first layer we are going to be setting up is going to be a flattened layer. So I'm going to use a flattened function. The second layer we are going to be setting up is a dense layer. So most times the input layer is going to be flattened uh, for analysis like this. All right, so we have three layers set up. Okay, so if you are using a flattened layer, you need to specify the two-dimensional array that is going to be flattened to a one-dimensional array. To specify that, you are going to use the, a function called input shape, input underscore shape, and you specify the shape, which is 28 by 28. All right, so this is our input. It's going to be flattened to... to yeah, this is going to flatten the 784. Right, so um, 
so this we have 128 and activation you need to specify the activation to be relu relu means rapidified linear unit is a is a, is a is an activation function that is very effective and the output layer is going to be 10 10 and activation is going to be soft max all right all right so we've set up uh, the layers at this point so now I'm going to check if it works. Um, so I'm going to simply run this code and it's going to generate the model. For now, if we generate this model, it's not optimal. It has to be optimized and trained as well. But for now, we've set up the layers. More like we've just built this. Uh, this, this, what you see here in this place, we have built it at this point. So I'm going to run it. If it runs perfectly, then we'll be ready to move on to the next part. So it says input shape not defined. Input shape not defined. Uh, so where is this problem coming from? Input shape not defined. Let me see. Um, so I'm missing out something. Input shape not defined. So input shape should be. Let me see. Input shape not defined. Okay, I think flatten. Input shape not defined. Let me see. Is there a typo somewhere? Um, okay, I think this problem is coming from input shape not defined. Oh, yeah, so input shape 28 by 28 is actually input shape equals because, yeah, it's going to be equals 28 by 28. Yes, so I'm going to run it at this point. Yeah, perfectly okay. So everything run correctly except that it says argument not understood, keyword activate. So it's actually going to be activation and not activates. Activation, uh, sometimes you have this. Okay, deprecation wrapper object not callable. Um, let's see where the problem. Okay, so we have the last layer, layers dot what dot dense. So the last one is also going to be dense layer. At this point, we are okay. We have perfectly built our model. In the next lesson, I'm going to talk about optimization. We are going to optimize our model. I would like to recommend you follow along in your system and also like my video and subscribe to my channel right now if this has been informative for you.